Hello again ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe Hendy from AndroidAuthority.com and welcome to our best paid apps of the week for February 24th through March 2nd. Our first app of the day is Unity Launcher. In case you haven't heard, there is an Ubuntu OS in the works that can be put on phones and tablets. One of the nifty features of Ubuntu OS is a sidebar that you can fling open at any time to open apps quickly. Unity Launcher mimics this functionality. You simply swipe in from the left to open the launcher. Once it's populated with your favorite apps, you can access them anytime, anywhere. You can be in an app or a phone call, you just gotta slide it open and select your apps. It is very helpful for people who switch apps often, and it's dead simple to use. The only real gripe is that it's a very simple application, and that sidebar is about all the app can do. So we gave it a 4 out of 5 star rating. Next up is a game called Cars and Guns. This simplistic racer is pretty straightforward. You start the game by buying a car, then racing that car through various levels. You get a higher place, you make more money, and you buy new cars. The controls are equally simplistic as you can only go forward and backward and you have two turn buttons. The controls are a little hard to master as each car has their own handling capabilities. There are tight turns to navigate and epic jumps to land. Despite its simplicity, it's deceptively difficult. As the name implies, there will also be shooting going on, but it'll mostly be at you. We gave Cars and Guns an overall value of 3.5 out of 5 stars, because it is a very simple game and the graphics were a little bland, but if you're into racing games then you could very well get your money's worth. Next up is Second Grade Learning. This is a game that is meant for children, so we took that into consideration for this part of the review. Although, to be honest, the way people type on the internet these days, some of them could use a refresher in a few of these lessons. The game has a variety of easy to play learning games that will test the knowledge of children and dumb adults everywhere. You can learn grammar and spelling, some math skills, punctuation, and a bunch of other things. So if you've got a kid around that age and they have nothing else to do, this is a good way to reinforce some basic education concepts. Overall, we gave it 3 out of 5 stars. Since it's geared for children, adults probably won't enjoy this game at all. Also, the mini games get boring after a while since they are very repetitive. Last on our list this week is Slingshot Racer. Most racing games for Android are pretty simple. You hit the gas, navigate some turns, try to keep to the inside lane, avoid gunfire where applicable, and take the prize. Now what if we added something cool, like Slingshot Mechanics? Slingshot Racer does just that. Instead of the typical method for pressing a button or tilting the phone to make turns, the game forces you to make turns by tossing a line to a tower and then you slingshot around corners. It's amazingly simple to play, but pretty hard to play well. Despite the simple mechanics, Slingshot Racer is very addictive and people could lose hours of their lives here. In the end, we gave it a 4 out of 5 star rating. The graphics are passable, but the game mechanics make this a fun game to play if you have a few minutes to kill. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy from AndroidAuthority.com. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can find both the app links and our social media links in the video description.